Forestry has among the most complex planning and scheduling challenges anywhere, and companies need decision models to help them ensure they've considered all the angles. Like all businesses, bottom line, they need to turn a profit. But forestry is a tough industry, dealing with a mix of public and private lands, facing a heavy regulatory environment, established competition, very low margins. Operating under these pressures for decades has forced the sector to take a hard look at operational efficiency and risk management to assure survival. The forestry value chain in particular is an incredibly demanding process. Companies are challenged to find a way to balance supply and demand with the need to limit overhead and expenses to maximize value and profits. The complexity in this area is far greater than you would typically see in manufacturing where variables are more stable, distances are less relevant, and the time horizons are shorter. To be successful in an industry with low margins such as forestry, companies need to make every action, every decision count, every process must be efficient and sustainable and have been perfected to eliminate waste. Efficient and intelligent execution of harvest and delivery plans ensures that owners can optimize their long-term investment in growing trees. Here's the thing, you plant a tree, you fertilize it, you thin it, you nurture it, and you wait, sometimes decades. So the decisions you make every step along the value chain all contribute to the end value of your product. And then it comes time to capture the value of that investment. The decisions you make here are especially crucial Delivered wood costs can account for up to 40% and even as high as 60% of the final product cost. Scheduling the right crews to the right location, making the best choice of product mix, making sure your trucks are deployed to maximum efficiency, finding that sweet spot, that balance between what the market demands, what the mills can accept, and what you have in your forest, and making sure that no tree is cut at random. There are a lot of moving pieces here, and as I said, this is where the big money is spent. You have all these trucks driving around. If they're not full, if they're lined up waiting at the wood yard or the roadside, you're paying someone but not getting value. If you're sending potentially high value saw logs to a pulp mill because you have a commitment to meet, you're losing value. All that money, all that time, all that effort directed at nurturing your trees to bring them to the point of capturing value through harvesting and processing, and it can all be lost with a stroke of a chainsaw. Getting this right from the outset is what it's all about. You know, it's simple, but it's not easy. An integrated, optimized sales and operational planning solution can result in reduced operating costs, increased harvesting productivity, improved inventory levels, reduced bottlenecks, less risk, and more efficient and sustainable use of our natural resources. There are so many variables and so much change that to do it with anything other than the kinds of technologies that we have at Remsoft for scheduling, for problem solving, for optimizing, it just doesn't make sense. It's a complex problem, and the cost of getting it wrong is high. And this is where Remsoft works best. You know, the difference between using technology wisely and relying on instinct or even a fixed plan that you stick to over time can be measured in the millions of dollars to a company's bottom line. There's real opportunity for companies who embrace this technology to impact their returns in terms of both cost avoidance and revenue acceleration. One supply chain expert we work with estimated efficiency impacts to be in the range of 200 to 500 basis points. There are three main elements that make optimization of sales and operational planning successful. Production, delivery, and sales planning. Each is closely connected to the others, and to be successful, you not only need to understand each, but you need to make sure all are working together to the common goal of an optimized plan for your business. Now is the time to really embrace operational planning in a systematic fashion. In the past few years, there's been a radical transformation in the availability of technology and in the data available. Trying to make sensible decisions about what to invest in, what to bring to market, what prices to put on things, and make that effective, profitable, and sustainable from an environmental, let alone a business standpoint, can't be done as a matter of set it up and run it the same way forever. Companies need to be agile.
At Rimsoft, our people have been traveling the world for more than 20 years, meeting with forest products companies and land managers to learn about what they can do and how we can give them technology that can lower costs, improve productivity, accelerate revenue, make a difference. This place, sales and operational planning, connecting the demand side of the equation to the activities in the forest and at the roadside, this is an area where virtually everyone we speak with thinks they could get more efficient, more productive, more proactive, less reactive. This is a natural fit for Remsoft, so we've really focused our technology and our people at solving it. And we're coming to market with it now. It's ready, we're ready, this is our future.